full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Cables aren't connected properly. If you take a look at the back of your TV, you'll see three cables connected. One yellow, one red, and one white. The red and white cables are responsible for the audio. The yellow cable, on the other hand, is responsible for the video. Other cables, such as HDMI and AV, are also in charge of video transmission. All of these cables have connector pins that transfer signals from the input device to the TV. When these connector pins aren't properly connected, the video on your TV may experience a variety of problems, including a red screen. That's why the first thing that you should do when your TV displays a red screen is to check all of the connections. Unplug the cables connected to the TV. Unplug the cables connected to the input device. Check connector pins for any bends or cracks. If all's well, plug the cables into the input device. Plug the cables into the TV ports. Once you're done, turn on the TV and set the TV input source to the input device. On the remote control, press source or input and choose the type of connection compatible with your device. Tampered picture settings. TVs have picture settings that allow you to change the color and hue slash tint of the screen, as well as other visual settings. If someone accidentally increases the saturation of the color red, your TV screen may turn red. Some smart TVs may even have AIs that adjust the color of your screen for a better viewing experience. As a result, this feature modifies your TV's RGB settings without your knowledge. In this case, you can check your TV's settings to see if the RGB settings are the source of the red screen. If the red screen goes away, it means that something in the picture settings was changed. To calibrate RGB settings, you have two options, reset settings or adjust manually. If you didn't set any custom settings before, you should reset the picture settings. Go to settings on your TV, choose picture or display. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the picture settings menu. Select reset picture settings. These steps may differ depending on your TV model, but the result will be the same. All picture settings will be reset to default. To manually adjust picture settings, go through each option and either increase or decrease the threshold to your liking. Temporary glitches. If your TV suffers from any glitches, it can malfunction and output incorrect display colors. So your red TV screen may be caused by a glitch. Luckily, most TV glitches can be easily resolved by a power cycle. To power cycle your TV, you should turn on your TV, making sure that it's playing any content. Unplug the TV from the power socket for at least 30 seconds. Press and hold the physical power button for 5 seconds if your TV has one. Replug your TV and turn it on to see if the red screen is gone. In many cases, this simple reset can fix any issues with your TV. Faulty LVDS Cable An LVDS cable connects the TV's mainboard to the control board, which ensures that the TV is working properly. If the LVDS cable inside your TV comes loose, the TV may start to malfunction and display different colors. A faulty LVDS can also become so hot that it starts bleeding red through dark colors on your screen. In this case, if you try to fix the TV yourself, it may result in additional issues. Numerous online tutorials can show you how to repair an LVDS cable. However, it's best to have a professional inspect your television. What's more, if your TV is under warranty, attempting to repair it yourself may void the warranty. Try a soft reset. A soft reset is where you turn off the TV and unplug it from the wall outlet. You then usually have to wait for 60 seconds, then you can put the plug back in and turn the TV on again. Performing a soft reset clears a device's internal memory of running programs which often clears up any technical glitches. Try a hard reset. A hard reset involves completely resetting the TV to its factory defaults. 
Most TV models have specific instructions. If you are still having trouble, try taking a look at the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any new fixes that appear.